Hello there! Greetings from the All Spares online store. Today, we will learn about a universal freezer for repairing display modules and touchscreens. We will also show and explain how to use it correctly. Let's start with a brief review of the freezer. At the front, we can see the control panel. It has a power button, a set button, and two arrows, up and down, used to adjust the temperature. To set the temperature, you press the set button. For example, we are now setting the temperature to negative 150 Celsius. This is the coldest possible temperature for this freezer. Here, there is a cryo chamber for our phone displays. Please make sure that when working with this freezer, you wear special insulated gloves at all times. There is also a protective lock on the handle of the upper lid. We will now demonstrate how you can easily unglue a touchscreen from a display. We have chosen display modules from Sony, Samsung, Apple, and Samsung Edge smartphones to use as examples. Please take note that the screen of a Samsung Edge cannot be unglued without this special tray. The freezer also comes with trays for ungluing Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge, S7 Edge, and Note Edge smartphones. Let's start with the display modules for iPhones. Put the displays into the chamber glass down. Close the lid and leave it there for two minutes. Remove the display module. To unglue the glass, you need to carefully bend the screen back and forth, like so. This display is a copy, so the sensor got unglued from the display together with the glass. After ungluing, you will need to wait until condensation disappears from the display. The next display is an original. As you can see, only the glass came unglued. This is how it should work. We now turn to Samsung display modules. Put the displays into the chamber. With Samsung Edge screens, you will need to put them first in their special trays for better cooling and then place them into the chamber. The recommended time for Samsung smartphones inside the cryo chamber is from two to five minutes. Now, you can take out the module and unglue the glass and frame. Let's take out the next module. We can see that the glass has come unglued from the display and the frame has not. If the frame cannot be unglued with the use of a spudger, the module must be returned to the chamber for a few more minutes. We recommend placing the screen modules into the cryo chamber without their trays if this happens.
Now let's try the Samsung Edge screen module. The glass is easily separating from the display. We'll now place some Sony screen modules into the chamber. The recommended time for them in the freezer is 1 to 2 minutes. The glass is separating with no problems. If the backlight has separated after freezing, wait until the condensation goes away and the module returns to room temperature. Then the backlight should also return to its original state. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to our channel.